Hello, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Aaron uh, from Embedded Technology. Uh, today, uh, I'm sh going to share uh, our uh, idea on and proof of concept of uh, running Kubernetes and uh, uh, on a micro server architecture. Uh, we have been uh, many years uh, using a microservice. Uh, micro servers on our uh, Ceph uh, cluster uh, appliance for many years. And uh, we come out an idea, how about use these kinds of architecture of server on uh, microservices. So uh, we found uh, there's a, a limitation on a, a server node that on Kubernetes, that is uh, no matter how powerful your computer is, uh, you can only run maximum like 110 parts on every node. So, uh, and uh, because microservices, uh, you don't need to make much power for computing uh, for your services. So uh, there's all kinds of microservices need uh, such a powerful uh, server instead of using um, an ARM-based microserver. Okay. So first of all, uh, let me introduce the, um, the architecture of a, a microserver. That uh, in one uh, un unit chassis, uh, we have eight microservers, uh, which is on uh, A72, 64 bits, with uh, dual core or, or, or uh, quad core. And, uh, Every microserver in the chassis are independent to each other and connect through the switches. We, uh, in the past, currently we use it for self storage. But uh, uh, with this kind of architecture, we think there's uh, uh, another advantage uh, if we uh, deploy the, the Kubernetes uh, with containers in such kind of uh, server. The server has also a, a dual, dual switch inside to provide uh, up to four uh, 10 gigabits per second network. Okay, so uh, with the limitation of uh, single nodes can have 110, we, we are capable of uh, deploy uh, 100 parts per node. So uh, totally, in a single uh, one U uh, microserver, uh, you can run, uh, deploy up to 800. So that is an uh, amazing uh, density uh, for, for the Kubernetes uh, microservices. So uh, besides the, the, the density, uh, you consume only uh, 105 watts. Uh, for these uh, 800 uh, parts. And uh, uh, because this is a single SOC on each uh, server, server module, there's no uh, NUMA, uh, NUMA issue that caused by a single node with uh, multi sockets. Okay. So uh, because of the time limitation, but we cannot do a live demo, but I, we do a, a a demo in in house and uh, uh, use uh, screen capture to show you how how we we can do it. And first of all, uh, we can deploy it, uh, one controller and uh, the other seven nodes as the Kubernetes nodes. So every node we can run like a uh, hundred uh, parts uh, replications. So uh, you can see. Uh, First nodes is master, and the other seven are the, 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 the nodes for, for parts. And uh, we can uh, deploy 700 Nginx uh, replications uh, on all of the nodes with a balancer, with a balancer uh, building to uh, distribute all of the uh, service requests from the uh, external. So after, for this example, after uh, several seconds, uh, 10 minutes 
there are 600 uh, parts up and running uh, with uh, uh, Engine X uh, services. So we use uh, uh, the ZWorks. <laughs> so we use an uh, Apache um, bench to test a small, uh, sp small uh, stress test, like a, a 20 concurrent connection and uh, totally uh, 10 thousands of to connection test. So it can run quite smoothly, uh, distribute to all of the seven uh, nodes in single uh, chassis. But uh, uh, this is the uh, output of the uh, Apache bench. So you can see its uh, response time and how many connection requests was complete. Uh, so uh, all of the, all of the uh, requests are, are balanced to all of the uh, microserver. But uh, we can also give them um, more even uh, higher uh, stress test on these uh, seven nodes uh, inside one U. That is, uh, we increase the concurrent connection up to a hundred and uh, uh, test uh, a millions of connection. So uh, the test, Uh, during the test, uh, we, we switch to the, uh, the Kubernetes uh, dashboard and see uh, all of the uh, service are, d are run up and running. And we can also uh, check uh, how the uh, resources are utilized. Uh, you can see uh, the processor use only 11% uh, on this node. Uh, this is one of the seven nodes. 11% uh, of CPU and the capacity of the CPU is dual core. Uh, in the future, we will up upgrade it to quad core so it can serv service more. And uh, the utilization of the memory, it is only 3.5%. Uh, uh, so uh, it is uh, very less uh, for this uh, stress test. And <clears throat> And uh, the parts allocation is not 100% uh, of the total capacity of uh, 110. So uh, in uh, one small unit of the um, microservers, uh, such a kind of test is quite uh, successful and deployed. And uh, also uh, our idea is that uh, not only running it with uh, Kubernetes. And because we have a uh, safe cluster also uh, on another uh, such kind of uh, microserver. So uh, we can integrate it uh, with the uh, safe storage as its backend. So uh, you, finally, uh, we can manage uh, such kinds of uh, infrastructure with one uh, management interface. Can be, uh, we call it, uh, uh, container converged infrastructure, yeah. So uh, this is the, uh, we use the uh, configuration that we use uh, 20 OSDs with three monitors in the back end. And this YAML file uh, of the Apache, uh, we, this, this test we use, use Apache to test this service. And uh, use the Ceph three monitors and use the file system as this uh, uh, backend storage. So uh, we also make a, a loop uh, to uh, to uh, to access the connect these uh, hundred Apache HTTP servers with uh, with Ceph file system as the backend storage, and uh, make a small loop to to connect uh, to the, to, to the uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster. And you can see uh, all of the services connections respond from uh, different parts because there's a, a low balancing uh, uh, to distribute the load. So uh, this is a proof of concept uh, in the beginning, but uh, to be finally that can be a, a 
real products still have many some, several things to do. Um, first of all, uh, we we will uh, integrate uh, the Kubernetes uh, into a single portal uh, with our current uh, safe uh, management user interface to provide uh, several uh, features that. Uh, that Kubernetes dashboard cannot provide. So such as create a standalone, a master, a high availability controller, and uh, uh, add or remove Kubernetes nodes. So uh, beside that, we also uh, plan to provide uh, the rule-based access control uh, for this uh, kind of uh, microserver architecture. And uh, because uh, on, it is ARM64, not all of the uh, popular uh, software are supported, but uh, we can uh, uh, provide these kinds of uh, compatible Docker image for uh, popular languages and the database uh, as finally become a, a container converged uh, product. So uh, user can very easily uh, without uh, starting from scratch uh, to, to use these kinds of uh, appliance. Um, we have um, a booth over uh, the marketplace. So after the speech, if you have uh, some bright idea to talk with us, you are welcome to visit our booth, our booth uh, just over the, that corner. Thank you.